I'm so excited. I know you didn't see this coming. Yes, I am posting twice a week now. Sunday and Wednesday. <laughs> hey! Who's excited? I'm excited. If you're not excited, my excitement is enough to cover us all, okay? twice a week now Sunday and Wednesday <laughs> hey who's excited I'm excited if you're not excited my excitement is enough to cover us all okay yes so I'm excited welcome back to my channel where we have comfortable and uncomfortable conversations we provide solutions I give you suggestions and we talk about how to have a vibrant Christian life as a young person okay so today I want us to talk about quarantine okay quarantine came with a lot of stuff so I remember seeing this um, little post where somebody said if you don't come up with a side hustle read new books those a number of things it means you didn't lack time you lacked discipline okay and I was one of the people that shared it because I agreed with it and I shared it not in a way that I thought you need to have all three I just felt if there are certain things you needed to do and you're not doing them it's probably because you is lacking discipline but later another um, picture came out where people were saying they canceled those things out and they said uh, you know we're all going through a very traumatic time so not everybody's gonna do a side hustle not everybody's gonna read those books or grow in a certain area and it's fine and I just thought hey Let's have a balance. I always say this. I'm an advocate for balance. Let's have a balance. So today I just wanted to share my quarantine experience with you and then we can talk about um, how much we grew in quarantine or how much we didn't grow in quarantine. So for me, the first thing I needed in quarantine was an emotional detox. Oh, your girl was going through the most and I didn't even know I was going through that much. And so the Holy Spirit prompted me to start journaling. He just told me, Ruth, get your journal, begin to write things down. And I began to realize that I had built up a lot of toxic emotions, low-key offense, low-key um, grudges, low-key, you know, actually quite high-key. I'm just trying to make it subtle. Yeah, so for me, that's the first thing that I experienced. I had to do an emotional detox. And I think that's a video for another day, the beauty of uh, journaling. Um, but I just had to sit down with God and sort out my emotions. And they were quite a mess. <laughs> oh, Lord. Such a mess. So I took out time to deal with all that emotional toxicity. Um, you know, call things by their name. If somebody has hurt you, they've hurt you. If somebody is annoying, they're annoying. If you're not in a good place, you're not in a good place. So just sitting down with the Holy Spirit every single day, guys. And it wasn't easy. I'm a very emotional person. So one of the things I hate about having to sit down and journal and deal with my emotions is that I'm going to cry. And I don't like to cry so much. Well, I like to cry about good stuff, but not bad stuff. So personally, I had a lot of emotional detox. Secondly, I built my mental capacity. Um, which kind of links to the emotional detox as a result of detoxing emotionally I grew my mental capacity and that's one of the things that I really wanted for quarantine just to um, you know be strong enough in your mind whatever you know is good for you or God is doing for you or through you you're able to do it regardless of what anybody else thinks and just the ability to get things done you know what I mean so for me, that was it. I tried to do fitness, guys, but I fell off the wagon. Oh, Lord. Now, I'm just, I'm just not... Uh, it wasn't out of laziness, guys. I just had a lot going on, man, like from work. What happened for me to realize I needed to just chill a bit is my body began to break down because I, I work in night hours. <clears throat> Someone could... Please, it's not what you're thinking. Stop it. Let's not bring negative energy here. It's a legit job. I just chose the night shift. Thank you, human beings. Anyway, um, yeah, so I wasn't having enough rest and I'll push myself because I'm very energetic. So I'll push myself with the 
exercise and I'm a light sleeper so I'm not having enough sleep because it's broad daylight and every human being is up and alive so it really affected me and my body began to break down so I decided to relax with the fitness and I relaxed into carbs, into sugar and your girl gained weight so now today is Wednesday yeah so today I have started a keto diet by the time this video goes up, I'm doing a keto diet with my Chomi blessing. I'm going to try and do that for six weeks and I'm going to carry you guys along. Because your girl is coming with the vlogging energy. Uh, I totally believe in uh, showing forth Christ in everyday mundane activities. Like, don't just, it's not just church. It's not just, uh, you know, you're in a conference. Just in your everyday life. Romans 12 verse 1. 2? 1. Yes, so just bringing your everyday life. So I want to bring you guys along uh, fitness, just life in general and how, you know, me and the Holy Spirit do things. So clearly I digressed. Back to track. So that was me basically in quarantine. So there was um, emotional detox, building mental capacity, uh, repentance. Hey, repentance. Hello. <laughs> if you didn't have time to repent in during quarantine, I don't know. Maybe you didn't have anything to repent for anyway. But for me, there was just a lot of repentance to be made um, uh, with my heart posture and things like that. So, basically, I want to just balance. After sharing with you guys how my quarantine was, I want to balance um, the two pictures that we saw about if you don't get a side hustle, you don't get this, then you lack time. You didn't lack time, you lack discipline. And the other people who say, hey, we're going through a very traumatic experience if you can just get through the day that's fine now if you're truly traumatized yes you need to rest some people needed to rest because they're working too hard some other people are just lazy let's just balance this thing stop hiding behind trauma you are not traumatized you are just lazy you are watching netflix the whole day out of pure laziness and in this life sweetheart if you want to grow you need to tell yourself the truth so a person who's actually dealing with trauma and they've worked so hard, yes, quarantine was necessary for them to rest. They didn't need to uh, start a new side hustle. They didn't need to read any book. They needed rest. For them, rest was productive. But for you, Mtase, who is lazy, you needed to read some books or something. So quarantine is over for most people. So I'm not here to tell you. Um, we regret your quarantine experience. Not everybody grew. Okay, poor group. Grew facts. <laughs> That's a joke. Laugh. Oh gosh. Y'all have a, just a poor sense of humor. Anyway, so I hope you guys all had a great quarantine experience, regardless of whether you uh, rested, you read books, you tried fitness, you read for your exams, whatever you did, or you were just lazy. It's okay. Own it. This always going to be a next time and we'll do better so i just want to do a little bit of a chit chat with my own quarantine experience i came out better i came out stronger i came out more aware of who i am as a person and that includes strengths weaknesses toxic habits whatever it is and i just think that's a video for another day so today i mentioned two videos for another day journaling and growing in awareness so i hope you guys are great if you're still in quarantine do your thing most of us are kind of like easing out of quarantine, but quarantine is not just a time for being productive. I believe the productivity should continue as a young person. Okay, any person regardless, but as a young person, let that growth just continue, okay? Don't um, allow us getting back into normal life, whatever that is, make you a person that stops going after your goals. Do what you have to do. And I'm just feeling one of the most important things most young people should do is have a lot of detox emotionally and, um, you know, just come before God and sit down with yourself and admit that certain things in your life that need help. Don't be just so quick to point at other people. That person should work on their toxic habits. That person should work on whatever. You need to work on you too. Okay? All right, guys. So that's it for today. I hope the video is not too long. Uh, just a little chit chat about my quarantine experience. Yes, as you can see, I'm not going to be posting on Sundays and Wednesdays. And like I said, we're here for consistency. We love to see it. We love to see consistency. So I expect some vlogs, some sit down, uh, you know, chit chats here and there, and some uh, guests. It's just going to be, uh, you know, so exciting. I feel like we're, in, uh, you know, what is it? Episode two. No, 
season two guys season two all right guys so if you're here for the first time do well to subscribe and if you are an old subscriber do well to share so we get the community to grow just love community you gotta love community subscribe of course click on the post notification bell so that you're notified each time i post a video so until next week next week next episode it is bye and god bless